According to data from the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, the chair of the commission is paid 640,000 Kenya shillings, while commissioners take home 532,500 shillings. What about this man who MPs claim they don't know? These people don't even know we are supposed to exist. I would ask the president, if he wants to partner with us, talk to those people, give us some respect and a breathing space. I don't know who Nyachai is to be talking about us every now and then. I don't know who Serem is. The Constitution Implementation Commission Chairman Charles Nyachai, who has been at the forefront supporting the Sarah Serem led commission, takes home about 792,000 Kenya shillings, while the members of his commission pocket 640,000 shillings. Our MPs also get a wage similar to the commissioners of the Serem led commission and take home 532,500 shillings, including several allowances, which are an annual medical cover for self, spouse, and up to four children below 25 years, as follows inpatient, 10 million shillings per year, outpatient, 300,000 Kenya shillings per year, maternity, 150,000 Kenya shillings per year, dental at 75,000 Kenya shillings per year, and optical at 75,000 Kenya shillings per year. Other benefits the members get include a car loan of 7 million, mortgage of 20 million, all payable with an interest of 3%. The Kenya National Commission on Human Rights added its voice to the issue and said MPs should not argue that they did not know the wage bill was going to reduce. This process of reviewing the salaries did not just emerge from the blues. They did not, they did not just land. Last year, I remember, if you read our statement, we met them in May last year. The campaign has dead started by then. People had not even resigned. All indications were, and you remember the Kemunya, the Minister of Finance, even then President, the in, all indications were that the public wage bill is coming down. It's unsustainable. So everyone knew, just like we all knew, that everything, the wage is coming down. It appears that MPs' grievances have come too late and perhaps they should have consulted in good time. For GSO at 7, I'm Najma Ismail.